friends <laughs> out of a lawn chair. Um, so, uh, trying to scoot, see if closer to this window makes a difference. All right, say hey when you're hopping on. Um, I'm gonna refix this. I have one hair tie here, so I'm just like, do not lose it. Um, we are having some trouble with our air conditioning in our bedroom. Everywhere else, the AC is working. They all kind of have their own individual units here, um, which is a little different from back home. <sighs> Christian had said his wasn't working, but I walked in there to like clean up some trash before the landlord got here, and it literally feels like the Arctic. So I'm like, dude, your AC is working. All right, so this is my current setup <laughs> in front of gigantic doors. <coughs> um, I have no seating in the house, so Adam brought me up a lawn chair from outside. So I went to Sephora with Lexi Kate um, before we left. It was for her birthday. We went shopping, and um, I was like, ooh, while we're there, I'm going to get a few things. And then I realized, great, now I have to haul this stuff down here with me. Um, so I didn't go crazy or anything, but I did get a couple things that I was like, hmm, been wanting to try this. And so um, I thought, well, that would be fun. We could do that today. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, buenas. Oh, I knew it. Uh, gosh. No, buenas noches this night. Buenos dias. I've been doing that, like bringing the kids breakfast in the morning, like buenos dias, practicing my Spanish. So there is like a good amount of people here that speak Spanish and um, speak English as well. And so I was going to layer with another chain, but I don't think I see just a chain. So this is it. I'm just going to wear this today. I love this little heart necklace. Um, I need to see. Ugh, I forgot stuff stuff to bring um so this little guy is for my amazon storefront i have been wearing it like all the time it's got a little marquee in it perfect for like a front finger ring and then these little guys are just cute and they are from amazon and um as well so they're on my storefront and uh anyways good morning kind of more of a laid back morning um i put up a good bit of our stuff. I still have a couple suitcases. I found my underwear. That's exciting. I've been wearing Adam's underwear, um, which I guess I'm just grateful I could fit into them. But uh, I actually have like a, a pair of his undies right now. That's what I've been rocking. I had a big t-shirt and that on and he was like, what is going on? And I was like, I haven't found my underwear yet like we have some boxes and then we have all the suitcase and then all the stuff to get together and it's just you know you're like we're figuring it out and so I've had to wear that and to be honest I was like don't knock it till you've tried it it is so comfortable and so um anywho uh I was like these look so good on like I could totally see where like this little boy short kind of vibe but um anyways good morning so how did we relocate so fast okay so seriously i literally it's jesus like the lord like would i tell you this transition have you ever had something in your happen in your life and you're just like whoo man that's so fast but like all the doors were just what like wide open or connections were like, oh, well, I know somebody that can do that for you. Or I know somebody that can do this for you and like everything. So when I moved to Chattanooga, it was a very similar thing. Like I tried moving several times and, um, whenever I, like i have been praying and I was headed home from Nashville, I'd, I'd spoken at an event and, um, I was heading home and I just felt like the Lord was like, it's time for you to move your kids to Chattanooga, like I was listening to a sermon, um, and they were talking about their the church's school at the time, 
And I was like, okay, I'm gonna see if I can get my kids in the school. And so that's kind of what happened. When it was time for me to move, like everything was smooth. Like my co-parenting was smooth. My um, getting a house, even though I had bad credit at the time, getting like everything. I looked for several houses, but I didn't find anything I liked. As Soon as I went on Craigslist, something had been posted like 15 minutes sooner. And that ended up being, I moved in across the street from Adam. If you guys didn't know that, my husband and I met because he was my neighbor. And that's kind of how, that was now six years ago. And so I, um, I don't know if you guys believe in signs or like the Lord speaking to you or different things. But if you don't, you're going to think I'm crazy. But I was praying a, not long ago, less than two months ago probably. And I was like, God, like just praying about things going on in our life. And I passed the sign and it said Canaan camp on it. It was like nailed to a tree. And I felt like the Lord is like, you're gonna go into your promised land, whatever that means. Like if you've ever heard about the Israelites, how they were like oppressed and in bondage and all these things. And like they go into the promised land. And so I was like, that's so, like I hadn't been thinking about it. I wasn't necessarily like looking for something. I just saw it and felt that. Have you ever felt this? Um, so I get to my mom's house. I tell her about it. I was headed to her house to deliver her a hot tub um, that we weren't using at the camp. Sorry, we have a lot of kids here. And so, um, so I tell her about it and she's like, you know, like just look, like ask God to like reconfirm if that's him speaking to you. Like just, you know, I don't know. Just, she's like, yeah, like I believe with you, you know? So I get home. No one is in my house, which if you know my house, it is um, rare that no one is there. And so I was like, I'm going to put on some worship music and read my Bible. And so I said, like, Alexa, play worship music. And it popped up playing, like, something like Entering the Promised Land by Canaan and whatever. I've never heard this song ever. I took a screenshot of it and just started crying. And I was like, I feel like God is like working, you know, like, I don't know what's about to happen, but I was like, mom, I feel just like that we may be moving soon or that whether it's physically or spiritually, um, I just feel like there's some sort of shift or change happening. And I've just been praying about it. And so, um, she calls me the next day and she's like, you're never going to guess what just came to my house. And I was like, what? And she sends me a picture and it's of a Canaan lily. And she was like, someone just came and knocked on my door and brought me this plant. And I was like, well, maybe the Lord wants it for my garden. <laughs> I don't know. And so I was like, I don't know. Like, and so, um, I, I don't know how to describe it other than like, it was really, really quickly, like got an opportunity to come down here. And I was like, okay, if, if this is going to happen, all these things would have to line up. Like all these things would have to happen. Like God would have to like literally part the Red Sea for this to happen. And it was like, we can get you this. Here you go. Here's where you could live. Here's the community here are, and not to mention like here, we're already connected to people here is like, um, even to the point that the girl who is helping us with our kids is certified in, um, handling all like autistic children with anger problems. Like she has her certification for things like that. Like things that we didn't even like, um, like we're going to be having Christian is still finishing his, um, his schooling right now. And so, um, anyways, just like when I tell you, I don't know how to describe it other than it has just been like every, like this house, we had looked at other houses and I was like, oh my gosh, for what we could budget to go down here, everything like is not anywhere I would want to go with the family and all of this. And then this came up and it was like $500 cheaper than like the grossest house we had looked at. And it already had like, uh, it's not necessarily the furniture I'd pick out, but had a lot of furniture. It just needed a mattress and it needed towels and stuff. And they didn't care like knowing our situation, if we would be here part of the time. And then if we don't know for sure, if we'll be here the full year, they're willing to work with us. Like, um, but we could go ahead and get in and get settled. Um, but like everything is like when I say it has just been like the Lord being like, here you go. Even for like getting all of our paperwork stuff filed, getting all of our like business stuff done. There's just been so much. So, so when people are like, whoa, like when did that happen? And it's like, well, it didn't happen really long ago. So you didn't miss much, but it's been a whirlwind 
for like the last couple weeks. Um, so, but seriously, like God wings, exactly. Like whenever you are, you meet somebody and you're like, I would have never had the chance to meet that person had I not been here or holy cow, how did like the founders of you are, they, they are down here and they already had so many different connections so that like when I'm looking for, like you need a, in order to get into the school, you need a psychiatric um, some sort of thing that's like evaluation and stuff. And it's like, oh, well, they already know about this. And then somebody else back home is like, oh yeah, well here, I have a friend. Like even my, the artist who painted the mural in our house, Olivia, she painted the camp. She, um, sent me a message and she was like, oh, my dad lives there. Here's his number. You can go meet him for coffee and he can show you this and this. Like it has just been like, I, like, I don't know if you pray for kingdom connections, but like, I pray like God, like plant us like where you want us and like, give us direction and help us to like be willing vessels. And so we were going to go on a mission trip to Mexico and there was a few things about it that like everyone on our team was just like hesitant, um, about certain things. And so it came up, it was like, okay, well, if we go here, we will have to go on a different mission trip at a different time. And I was like, but I don't have a good, and I've gone on mission trips before. This is not, I think you like trust your gut, but I was like, I don't have a good feeling about this one. Like the way we would go through Tijuana, the way certain things were, I just was really nervous. So we got a message, um, that the flight we would have been on completely got canceled and the entire trip was canceled. And so I'm like, well, if that doesn't tell you something, like just all the things that it's like, we're still going to get to, we're actually going to do a good bit of mission work here, um, in Puerto Rico. But, um, like, I don't know, there's, it's just one of those where you're like, okay, I feel like God is moving and like, we are just trusting the process. So, so it, and it does, it gives you like peace for knowing like, okay, Lord, but this could have been, I've like tried to do things in my life where it's like, Hey, this wasn't meant to happen because everything was like a roadblock. And this has been like just the smoothest amount. And everyone here has been so nice to us. I haven't met a single person that's not like, um, oh, here, I have numbers for this and this, or, oh, like, let me know if you need anything, or, um, just very, like, just wonderful, so, anyways, that's, sorry, I got to chatting, I should have done, um, I should have been talking and doing, but sometimes that's really hard, so, um, all right, greens, I found my greens, if you have issues with being regular, add greens into your diet. It is so good. I, you can mix them with juice. You can mix them with water. You can mix them with your trim fit. Um, I absolutely love trim fit. It just helps like cut the cravings. Um, and it gives you fantastic energy. And then, uh, I like to mix my greens with it. So I don't know what exactly our and that's really scary for me. I have like a lot of, I guess, abandonment stuff from like childhood or just different, I don't know. Um, I just like being out of control sometimes is very scary. I've lived in the same town my entire life. Um, I like, you could ask anybody that knows me the fact that I'm like, okay, here we go. If this is where, but I really have been like, um, praying and I really feel, I don't know how to describe it other than like such a peace. And, um, my kids are really excited. Everybody. And I just think that it was like, like I was talking to the kids last night and I was like, it's an opportunity for you to like experience things that you wouldn't get to otherwise that like, it would just so neat. Like the things that they will get to do and the programs and the, um, I don't know. I'm just really excited. Yes. Filled with so much joy, even in the unknown. And that's how you know God is in control. And I truly do believe. And so if, um, so, so where we are, the, we're in like the crime rate here, um, is less than where we live back home. So as far as, um, anybody, and then hurricanes 
you at least get like a warning if there was a hurricane. There hasn't been a bad one here in a while, like years. Um, but if there was, you get warning and you can fly out. Um, we live in Tennessee and there are way more deaths by natural disasters where I'm coming from than here. So, um, but I just am like, I don't know how to describe, like I, I can be anxious and fearful sometimes, but I really just feel like, I mean, even where we are, we're in a gated community that you go through two guard gates to get to. Um, it is probably the safest place I've ever been. Um, you know, like, and I, if you wanted to find trouble, I'm sure in any place you go, but I had a very different view of like, even in my mind, Puerto Rico, I was like, didn't, I've been to the Dominican Republic before and that's what I expected. But when you land here, it's like Hawaii. There's like Cheesecake Factory, um, Macy's, J.C. Penney's, beautiful palm trees, manicured lawn, no trash anywhere. And I mean, we've driven about an hour. Now, if you go out more towards the jungle and you go out towards a lot of the more rural areas, uh, there is, you know. Um, but uh, I'm sure there's, you know, wild dogs or whatever. But but for where we are and in this, we're in a big big community here. I mean, there's like Sam's Club, Costco. It very much reminds you of being back home. So, um, I'm going to shave my face before I do this. Uh, but so we're in Dorado is where we are. Um, and then, I mean, I have even back home, I told Adam, like, I am hoping, to, you know, when you pray that like the Lord just, I don't know, you go through things to shape who you are. But here, there's been so many people who have said like, here, here's my number here, or come up to Adam like in the grocery store. And a guy was like, hey, did you move into da 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 da? And he was like, yeah. And he was like, I don't see too many like buff redheads. So I figured that was you, I saw you in the neighborhood. And he was like, um, just wanna let you know if you need anything, uh, here's my number. And um, you know, if you need, help with anything or uh I know it takes a little bit of time to get settled so if you don't have something just let us know um and the resounding just I where we come from like not many people are like hey if you um need something call me or like <laughs> because Costco is like 25 minutes away like we've had people be like hey I'm going to Costco. You need anything? Hey, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. Do you need anything? And I was like, man, it made me like evaluate myself of like, how often am I being like that to others? Like when was the last time that I told, um, just message somebody and was like, Hey, I'm going to Chick-fil-A. Do you want me to grab you anything and swing it by your house? And I was like, Oh, like the people here have been just so wonderful. So, um, if we are just here for the summer, I feel like there is a reason, even if it was just as a detour for a trip we shouldn't have gone on to Tijuana, you know, um, or something. Like, I truly believe God has, like, his hand in everything. And so, um, if it is that whatever the reason is, um, or if it is that we're moving here permanently, like, I am truly believing that like God's will be done in our life. And so it has been a really amazing opportunity to get to come down. And I am, um, I'm just trusting that whatever God wants is gonna happen. Okay, going in with some sunscreen. I have not done good on my time management. This is going to be a long life. Okay, this is glow screen. I was gonna do, sunless tanner but i feel like maybe i should do this at nighttime i love this sunless tanner i might add a little bit in actually just to give me like a little bit of tan here we go it's hard because you're like how do i mix in sunless tanner and sunscreen and this is how i think i'm going to do it okay so we have some sunless tanner i also have gradual tanner for my body to make everything match um, I've got to, I don't really tan great. I used to as a child. My kids are so dark already and their little freckles are coming out. Um, but they are all getting so dark. Okay. So this is, I put on the glowy screen, sunscreen. Um, 
and then I'm mixing in some gradual tanner with it. My sister is coming down, so that's kind of exciting. She will come down on the 20th. So I'm gonna get to see her. My mom and her husband are planning a trip. And then one of my friends is planning a trip down here. And I was like, seriously, I might see more people now that I'm here than I did when I was back home. Um, but it really is so, so pretty. Um, and I don't know, I'm just praying that like, my kids are transitioning really well. Even Lola last night, she was like, I hope we get to live here. Like, I'm really, really loving it. And the way our house is set up here is like, everybody has just been hanging out really closely. Our other house back home, which I love um, in Tennessee, but it's like very spread out. And so you catch yourself kind of like everybody doing their own thing. Veda's room is right in the middle of the house. So you kind of have to be quiet around there if she's in there. And here we just find ourselves like all hanging out, like in the kitchen, in the den. Um, there's also limited amounts that are um, air conditioning all throughout the day. So it kind of puts everybody together, um, but it has been so nice. Uh, I linked the necklace, it's from Lavender Blue and I have a discount code there. So, Is anybody else having a bad connection? Let me know if you have a bad connection. Somebody says they do, but it could be there. there. Um, so. I'm so glad I found my greens. It really does help your body feel so, so like, regular. I wish I had a, like, I want to do my arms, but I don't want my hands to get, uh, very pixelated. Uh, good connection here. No. Some are saying yes. Some are saying no. Try to hop out of the video and hop back on. I show I have five signal bars and I'm by an extender. Oh, does no mean fuzzy or not fuzzy? <gasps> here, let me see. I do know that the sun comes in and out, so I know my skin tone is going from like glowy to not glowy. Um, I'll still get pink lily shipped here. Everything, so it's a US territory. So pretty much everything that we do in the States, um, we can get done here. Um, it just might take a day or two longer. Amazon's gonna take a little bit longer. Connection's good. Um, connection's good, good connection. Okay, good, 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 good. A little bit of Ophir foundation, not a ton. Kind of just embracing that like, really I could go out just with glow screen and some sunless tanner um, if I wanted like more of a skin-like texture. But I am gonna add just a little bit of, when I say a little, I do like a dot. This is kind of my summer vibe. Um, also, I'll show you the Sephora stuff. Sorry, sorry, I've been talking and I haven't probably gotten to what you guys are here for. Um, I do like to go over my nose and like right under my eyes, right in this little T-zone area. Um, but in the summer, I just kind of will embrace like a more natural look. Totally up to you. Um, okay, so I got some Charlotte Tillsbury um, things. So I got the Pillow Talk lip kit. So I'm gonna show you guys this. How cute are these? Um, I love it because of the size. It was perfect for travel and I was like that won't take up too much space and then I also got um, their little her little uh, gloss as well so we're gonna try that and then I got the face stuff super goop was a new thing um, not too long ago from Sephora and then oh here we go this this is where it's at so this is a new really glowy so we're gonna lean hard into the glow today so this is a clay play by Tarte and this is from Haas Labs and it is the uh, fire opal so I'm gonna go really I don't 
don't know, tropically um, glowy today. So that's what we're gonna do. I am limited on brushes, but um, we'll make it work. That is something I'm like, okay, I'll probably have to get some more makeup brushes. Uh, oh no, here we go, have enough. Okay, this is just like a light tan. And it kind of has like a butternut tone to it, which I feel like is really natural. And then I'm just moving it all along. So we have not gotten to explore a ton. We've been doing more like adulting stuff. Um, so I'm hoping here soon, uh, if you've ever wondered like, why are there not a lot of people who vlog that have four kids? It's because I am trying to take care of everybody, but um, we really will try and document as we get settled uh, all the things fun things that we do, especially for people who want to come and visit here. So we have vacationed. We went on our honeymoon to St. Thomas or St. John, but you fly into St. Thomas. And so that is only like 40 nautical miles from here. So if you're wondering like where it is, it is very, very close to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Look at the color of this. So I don't think we'll sell our Tennessee house unless something crazy like like somebody's like, hey, I don't know, wanna buy our Tennessee house or something, but as of now, we plan to hold on to it and just rent it out. Um, and that is kind of our, our plan. Like kind of doing long-term Airbnbs. So um, also if we did that when we go back home, cause we still do plan to go back to Tennessee some, and so when we do that, we could just be at our house. My sister has our cats, um, which for a while now we had talked about not keeping the cats because Christian is really allergic to cats. And so, but then we're like, oh, what are we gonna do? So when it came time for this, she was like, I'll take them. And uh, she is obsessed with our cats and so are her kids. And so they have our cats. Um, Ivory is still at the house. Um, with the people who are staying at the house. And uh, so is Elvis. And, but eventually Ivory will come here and Elvis is gonna stay with one of my best friend's boyfriends who has a farm. And so he is gonna have him doing some like work on the farm. And that's just kind of our plan right now. And Watermelon's also, I think, gonna go there to the farm. But she's like, he needs a barn cat. And so I'm like, perfect, she'll love that. Uh, lunch still can get delivered here. Oh, fear will still get here. I'll still work with the brands that I work with. I'll still do videos. I'll still do things I find out in the real world. Um, I will be working more with like some like product development training stuff and things with you, but I will be doing, um, a lot of, a lot of what you see, uh, typically. So, um, okay. Going in with this color, also just using this brush. I love like a good pinky glow. Going kind of right above where I did my bronzer. So I love this because it has three different like colors. Use, if you want a little more pigmented, use your hand. I linked this. Um, it's from Sephora and it is the, uh, it's like the clay tart palette. Okay. Uh, other things that have just worked out, like, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but it's like, hey, like having people who are like, oh, we'll bring, that's okay, we're already here, we'll bring your, uh, the founders of Beautiful You who are here, they got here before we did, and they were like, oh, well, we'll bring your stuff inside. We will, um, like, they were able to get us a mattress. Even another family here on the island, they were like, oh, um, I was saying, oh, we've got to go get two twin beds. Like, I don't have, the girls are on a big, big, like, nice blow-up mattress, but that's what they're on. So it's like, I've got to go get two twin beds. And then somebody else 
like messaged and was like, hey, I heard you needed two twin beds. Um, this family is getting rid of them. You can just have them. So like, we're getting two free twin beds and mattresses and bed frames. Like just, I don't know, like it's just been really kind of crazy. Okay, I'm going in with this golden color and I just want it right here. Look at this, like, I was gonna use the fiery glow one, but I feel like maybe, I don't know if I need both. I feel like I've got enough going on. I'm going in with that. Um, do you guys like this? Also gonna use this right here on my inner corner and right here. And I just kind of press, 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 press. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this pink color. Hang on, I've got a fuzz. I take the pink color and I'm gonna go right on the outer corner of my eye. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you don't like glow, you will not like this look. But if you are like me and in the summer, I'm like, give me all the glowy, glowy everything. I'm gonna do my lips, so don't, don't worry. It's gonna all come together. I promise. This, let's see. Where was it? Here we go. All right, now I'm going on with a fluffy brush. And I'm going to do my crease. And then here. It's definitely like a sunset inspired eye. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the same little color down here. Do you guys like seeing different brands and different products? Um, now that I'm getting settled, I miss you guys too. Uh, now that I'm getting like more settled, I feel like I'll be able to get back in it. It's just, we just needed like, to get our lives in order for a minute um, so we could function. And I might just do like, hang out with me lives while I'm doing my closet. I don't really have like, no, a bunch of people here. So I'm like, oh, I could hang out with you guys. Okay, I'm going in with that pink right in the center. Right in the center. Hey, you need me? Oh, he said no, I'm looking for a purple squishy. <sighs> I will still definitely work with Ophir. I just um, thought I just saw this uh, in the store and I was like, well, that's beautiful. And so, hi sis, how's it going? Good morning. I'll be down in just a few, okay? Do you sleep good? Yeah. Yep, what do you want to do today? Just stay here. Just stay here? Just have a chill day? Okay, go in. Ooh, we could go to that water. The big one? That was fun. We could probably do that later. Okay, so I'm going in with a little dibs. Oh, you'll like the beach, Lola. Lola like, Lola likes all the things except the sand and the salt. Um, she's like, tons of stuff she wants to do. I feel like Veda's starting to lose it down there. Adam's got her, but. Um, what time is it? It's 11.28 here. 
Um, I linked the palette info in the description of the video. So I need to pluck my eyebrows. All right, let's try this mascara. Um, and then we'll try this new lip combo. I'm so much more less stressed. Y'all, it is like really hard going through a lot of things and then you're like, okay, well, I can't really talk about them right now. I just have to like go through the motions of what's happening and then I'll fill everybody in later. And then it just, it was a lot like going on. Um, and I do, I feel so much less stressed. Like, I really am just stressing, like, hey, everything, just trying to be aware God wants me. And I, and you have no idea why or how long, but, or for what reasons, or, this is just the brow wax, it's in my Amazon store front, um, Ophir's mascara. I need to get the waterproof mascara from Ophir because I have a feeling I'm going to be doing water activities often. I would really like to go snorkel with the kids today. ever get a like where you hit it I'm really messy take a spoolie or a toothbrush it's just like a little bristly and you just do 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 and it'll go away all right so we're gonna try this little lip look as well oh sorry so if if you ask a question and I don't see it, when I'm doing stuff, I can't read comments. And there's about a comment every second. So sometimes I miss it. We do have, um, we do have a pool here. So that's really nice. The kids have been liking that. Beta has learned like with her floaties how to um, balance her body weight and it is a game changer for our summer. Um, she can like hop into the pool with her floaties on and kind of float like she'll be like I'm floating but she can kind of swim around and so whereas up until this point I physically had to like hold on to her and so she's able to kind of just float around with the kids and that's been really nice. If you need links for everything, they should be in the description of the video. Let me see if I can paste them still. No, nope, can't paste them. I waited too long, but they should be in the description of the video. And also if you drop the word me, they'll come to your inbox. popped off a tripod. Bah! Sorry, didn't mean to scare anybody. Did you go flying? You like actually flew. Um, I'll show you the outfit. It's actually overalls. Um, let me see. Okay. Ha. All right, and I have to tan the rest of my body because, hang on. Let me finish this eye. ADD, too many things going on. If not my... Um, arms will be pale and my body will, my face will be dark and that looks silly. So when I do my makeup, I'm doing it into a phone and I feel like the older I'm getting, the harder that is. Like I hit my contact just then.
Okay, let's do um, this lippy look. Great, so this is the shade Pillow Talk. And I have it linked in the description of the video. Do I sleep in my contacts? I try not to, but sometimes I do. And I know you're not supposed to, and I'm working on it. Um, every time I go to my eye doctor, I'm like, I know. Um, Adam slept in his contacts once and ended up with an amoeba, and he almost lost his eye. And so I do know it's very serious not to sleep in your contacts. I have, like, some anxiety. I really need to get Lasix because I have some anxiety about, like, uh... I can't see, so when I don't have my contacts in and I don't have my glasses, I'm like, what if someone came into my house or something and um, or I needed to get the kids or fire or whatever, and so I get really nervous, so I sometimes sleep in my contacts. But no, I try not to. Don't sleep in your contacts. This is such a good color because it's almost like the most beautiful version of your lip color, but you can kind of fill in and make your lips look fuller. I'm legally blind without my contacts. Yeah, completely. So, I mean, not completely blind, but I'm legally blind. Like I can't see much further than my hand. I would not be able to tell you, like if someone was standing in my room, like, identify what they look like like they're a fuzzy blob even when I got contacts or uh or glasses for the first time I remember being like you can see leaves on the trees like and then I had always seen in picture books like spots on the moon but because I could never see that I was like that's so weird that they do that um but it's because you can see them and so so grateful <laughs> so grateful I was born in the age that I am because my eyesight's so poor I also used to just stare at the sun as a child and I would like cover up an eye, cover I loved like staring at it and then seeing spots. And so I probably might have done some of this to myself. So currently I'm just using, it's the shade Pillow Talk and I'm doing it the slowest ever because I it's hard to do your lips and talk at the same time. And then this is the same shade. It's Pillow Talk Lipstick. So this is kind of a beautiful, beautiful natural look. All right, let's do some gradual deluxe tan. Um, if you don't wash your hands, you will end up with orange hands. Just gonna put that out there. I really feel like I need another necklace or something. Like I've gotten to where I'm layering a bunch and I feel like that would look really cute. Then I'm gonna do my arms. It's like, do I have an initial necklace or anything? Um, I know I lost one because I found the S somewhere. Um, it's probably for this guy. Where is it? Great. I sat it somewhere. <gasps> Where did it go? I feel like that would be cute. I have like the C and the S, but I don't know where that one is either. I might not have even packed it. Um, I made such a mess, you guys. Thread it through the hole. What are things you want to see more of? Um, as we are transitioning, I'm trying to figure out, will I do like outfit stuff? Will I do new makeup things? Will I, I mean, I'll keep doing some of the stuff that I already do, but is there anything that you're like, oh, I would really like to her to teach me how to do this? Um, I haven't done braids in a long time. I thought that might be fun to do a fun braid tutorial. Uh, I can't tell you the last time I shaved my armpits, so don't zoom in.
I will say I borrowed a razor from my mother-in-law. She had one that wasn't used. And because I came out to our pool and I was like, I didn't pack a razor. I look incredibly European. This is all I've got to work with. So we're just gonna be like this out here at the pool. And she was like, I have a razor later that you can use. And I was so grateful because we ended up going to um, the water park thing with the kids. And um, so, oh, visit the rainforest braid tutorial. So I wanna go to, um, there is a natural water slide. So right now, this part of our trip has kind of been getting settled. And then here soon, it will be, we're settled, and um, I'm hoping we get to do some like exploring, vlogging, like going and trying things. Like we love, we do love travel. We love like local culture. We love um, just going and doing stuff. So, um, okay, we're putting on some deluxe tan. I think I'm gonna, well, yeah, I'll do this. I have the one that's like an instant glow tan that you wash off. I don't necessarily advise doing it this way. It's way better to put on your tanner if you have um, showered and you have no clothes on. Oh, that's so much work. So I have done this probably a hundred times in my life and it turns out fine. This is the deluxe tan. It's a gradual. So it's more of just like a tinted lotion. So it's nothing extreme. You get darker over the day and it just gives you where you don't quite look as pale. I don't know if you can tell the difference. It just gives you like more of a glow. Bottom right is darker than my bottom left for my lashes. Yeah, it is. Here, I should fix it. Thanks friends. Good friends, don't let people walk around looking silly. That matches more. Okay, so rubbing that in, I'm gonna do it everywhere. Yeah, the big kids are going back home tomorrow and um, they had some, some summer plans already and they will come back on the first. So the baby will be here with us and um, the kids will be going to like some camps and then spending some time uh, with their biological dad. You want my lashes? You should do the Grande Lash Lash Serum. If you go to my Amazon storefront, I have it, ignore the lawn chair because that's all I have right now. Um, but if you go to my Amazon storefront, it is um, listed there. They even have the little trial one. It's like six weeks and you'll notice your lashes are like longer before you run out. Okay. Start at your calves and then go up if you're ever going to do this. Um, because if you do this part first, then you bump into it with your clothes. So start at your calves. Um, yeah, would it make sense? I have on, I told you I wasn't kidding. I literally have on Adam's underwear. Um, I just, I couldn't find mine. Uh, we have, we have a lot of bags. We all took a carry on. We all took a backpack and then we all took a big bag and I've just been trying to go through everything. And so, <laughs> whoops. I also have hives on the back of my legs. Um, when I get stressed, nervous, the last few weeks they have just been like, really flared up because there's just been a lot going on and I feel like they're just now starting to like calm down. So if you're somebody like that and you get hives, I feel ya. Um, Palmaferous heel oil is really good for it. It like, if they're raging and itching and crazy, it really helps. Um, okay, going down here. You can like almost tell instantly, even though this is the gradual, uh, if I had like a dinner or something I was going to, they even have a, hang on, I brought it with me. I'll show it to you. Um, okay. They even have this, it's a bronze shimmer cream, but this rinses off. And so, but this one, it dries in six, I didn't know my head wasn't in that, sorry. This one dries in 60 seconds and it's an instant dark. 
but this one's gonna get dark and I'll have dark for a few days. But if you were like, oh, I wanna wear shorts today and I wanna be like dark right now, this one is better for that. Also, I realized I didn't have deodorant on, so I grabbed that at the same time. If you haven't tried the Salt and Stone, if you love the scent Sand Hall, it's really good. Okay, don't forget to tan the other half of your leg. Dun, 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 dun. All right, here we go. This has been a long live. It's been a minute since we got to do just like a fun hangout live, live update, lots of chatty, just everything. So sorry it was long but sometimes those are my favorite. Okay, so this is just a like gradual tanner and it's just like a lotion that you will end up tanner throughout the day. In case you're scared, it makes you not, not too, too much darker than what you already are. And so, uh, whereas a tanning mousse, it's like, whoa, you're dark. This is just kind of like a gradual. Um, okay. Let me wash my hands. The reason you want to wash your hands is your hands will look like this and the inside of your hands don't normally look like that. So let me wash and I'll put on some jewelry. The wash them really good. to watch me you're gonna be like that girl is all over the place but that's probably how it'll always be um i do have a little volume I'm trying to see what all i brought with me um if you are always having like a bunch of jewelry setting beside your bedside table um this is kind of a messy way to do it but just so it doesn't fall off like we would have issues with the cat like knocking off our jewelry or my jewelry. And so um, this is what we're missing. How cute is this? This is also in my Amazon storefront and I love this. I think it's under $15 and you can tell I did this one day and didn't wash my hands well enough. Just gonna have tan palms. Um, I feel like that's really cute. I might even lower it down just to here. That just seems like really beachy to me. Uh, this, uh, I got it at the at home store for $7.99. Um, bracelets. wedding ring this fun little ring and then I'll show you this outfit I kind of already did it to show you because it was like you know standing up but I'll show you fully together jewelry just kind of makes you feel like even though my hair is wild and all the things it just kind of makes you feel a little more put together um some fun little colored bangles all right um what do you guys think about this glowy look you here for it okay uh i'm not gonna even brush through my hair right now i'm just gonna leave it up until i figure out what i'm doing for the day um, whoops, lost a thing. So you can tighten them up, obviously. Um, I just have on like a little bandeau. It's actually a really cute, um, bandeau and it's got like a, it's just like tan and, but it's pretty good to, you know, just keep an eye on it, that it doesn't slip. And then these are little overalls. Um, this is a free people set. I bought this when we were in Hawaii and i have worn it a lot of times so it's really cute to wear with like sneakers i'm wearing a size medium 
in this. So, but it's really cute. Um, it's got some distressing. I need to find, like get a steamer so I can steam stuff. But for now, it's just gonna be like this. I'm wearing a medium. So I like how it's a little oversized. I do have like thicker um, thighs and it's loose on them. So if that helps you for fit. But yeah, this is our, uh, and if you wanted to wear, I also think it'd be cute with one of those lace undershirts. But that's really cute. Um, you can wear long sleeve, short sleeves. You can even wear like a little sweater knotted with it. Um, or even just with your bathing suit. I don't know. I actually think it's cute. Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to hop off here. Um, and if you have questions about anything, just let me know. Um, I am five foot four. So I'm in a touristy place. No need to iron, right? So. I'm definitely not ironed today, but I like, I don't necessarily love to iron, but I'm obsessed with steaming. Um, it is so satisfying. And I just think even if you're wearing Walmart or Target or Amazon, like a lot of what I wear is like those things, um, or free people, whatever you're wearing, if you steam it, it just makes it look nice. And so I really love, um, steaming and I also love downy wrinkle release and throwing stuff in the dryer <laughs> so um that is kind of like I do both of those a lot I don't really iron often but the other two I do a, a ton so good day my friends I hope you have a wonderful day and if you have questions about anything you can send me a message uh who's flying back with kids their grandma so their grandma's flying back with the kids so um they should do fine she's traveled with us a whole bunch my kids have traveled a lot and so um other than being like stay right beside her hold her hand the whole time you know um but really they're the the baby isn't flying so it's the big kids and so they'll just go with her and um people people fly with their grandma's all the time so i used to travel with my grandparents all the time um your husband loves his shirts ironed. My husband probably would too. I've got to, but he's happy with my steam job. Uh, so anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Bye guys. Thanks for hanging out with me.